Welcome back. So uh, the computer that we were on actually needed to do a restart on us for some reason. It just randomly restarted, which isn't great, but they haven't started anything yet. So it's not horrible. Um, I'm going to bring up the screen here. Oh shoot, we might be starting. Okay. They looks like they just chose characters right now and they haven't really, uh, chose stage yet. So this is a best out of three crew battle. So here I'll do this now while I figure out the plan. Alright, so we're gonna have uh, I believe this is Mm, Gabby Three, on the carry. Two, yes, this is Gabby one, on the carry. Go! Uh, versus a uh, crash bandicoot. Alright, so, ooh, very good getting rid of those. Do you want it quieter, louder, whatever do you want? I can change that. Um, am I too quiet or am I perfect? Like I always am. I'm just saying, I'm perfect. Alright, so. This match has pretty much just been Bandicoot. Uh, okay, the music is a bit louder. I'll turn the music down. Thank you, guys. Alright, I'm back. Still can hear the music. So, yeah, this match has pretty much just been Bandicoot running away until he can throw a bomb. And Gabby trying to get in with the carry here. Oh, did I turn myself down? Yeah, I can turn myself up as well. I might be control. I might be confused on the controls. How is this? Okay, wait, better? Okay. Right, I'm gonna go with this. I think this is, should be good. How is everything sounding out? Alright, so Gabby here is on one stock. Uh, Bandicoot's still on two. Let's see if Gabby can either get one or just try and fully win this. Uh, ooh, good charge there. Honestly, I think that should have killed, but Bandicoot's a little tanky for, uh, he's a little deceivingly tanky. And Gabby there just kind of has to be sadly. Falling off the edge while trying to edge guard Bandicoot. That's not Bandicoot, that's Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> 
They're, they're so similar. I just, you know, banjo, they're both the same. And then, and then it's just like, you know, kazooie. You know, I just add the T in there to make it banjo and just combining the two. Um, I'm sorry about that, guys, <laughs> if that was confusing you. I wish Banjo-Coot was in the game. That would be cool. Um, but sadly, it doesn't look like he's able to be in the game for some reason. Uh, copyright issues, licensing, whatever. Um, just some massive, like, crazy stuff that reasons why. And, I mean, if you guys, what characters that you, what characters would you guys want to add into Smash Bros. Ultimate? Or do you think it has too many? I want, I want some hot takes here. Is there too many characters or is there not enough? And if there's not enough, what characters do you want? I think me personally, maybe I'm a little biased, but I think I would want the Hollow Knight in Smash Bros. I think his moveset would be perfect. I think it would be great. Um, Wiggler Cart, that is a good suggestion. That's not bad at all. <laughs> There's too many, but you still want more. That is also a fair point. Again, if, if you want to, this is your stage. This is the Minecraft block. These are great suggestions. I love these. Obama, yes, we do in fact need Obama. I think, I think his smash ball would be Obamacare and he heals himself to full. I think that's what it would be or he might drop bombs on the stage. I think it's one of those two. Getting some political discourse into this into this Smash Bros. tournament. Anyways, we are starting here with uh, Glow versus this Banjo-Coot. banjo I believe, had only one stock left at the end. Um, we'll see. Nope, only two stocks. Never mind. Shantae. Shantae would be a good addition. I do like that one. All right. So here we go. We'll, we'll come back to this, uh, the Smash characters that you guys would add uh, right after this match. So we've got some good dash attacks here from Glow. He's got some... He hasn't taken any damage yet, which is pretty good. There goes the PK Fire out a little bit. Just trying to get some, get some good damage in. Now they're about even percent, but the Bandicoot has that one stock disadvantage. Good forward throw here from the uh, from the match. I realize that there is a delay between what I can see and what you guys see, so now I'm commentating off of what you guys see instead of what I see. I think that might work better. So it seems like Glow is proficient at drawing circles. Ooh, big hit there though from. Ooh, good back air though. Good on stage recovery there. I think this is a this is a pretty even match so far. I would have honestly just straight up grabbed right out of shield there. I would have uh, grabbed release shield right away. And okay, so both characters, um, yeah, it's pro it, it's not even thirty seconds. It's like a solid five seconds, I think. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna be commenting off of what you guys see to make it easier. Yeah, this is a very close match. It seems like. Good percent on the banjo though, right here. Um, both, like, Ness getting uh, side B or whatever it's called. I don't remember what that thing is called. And then Bandicoot just like kind of going AFK and just dying is honestly kind of hilarious. Um, some good spacing there, some good damage with the, uh, with the Thunderbolt, PK Thunder, yep. And I think Glow just needs to take this like one stock and he should be good. Uh, he... Just one more stock. He, honestly, he is in the range for a back throw if he can get it off. Ah, oh, unlucky hit there for the Banjo-Coot. Just outright evening the stocks up. So this won't be good for Glow in the next match if he ends up winning. Let's, hopefully he does. Oh, the back air, maybe. Glow kind of fishing for this kill here. Yeah, Banjo-Coot just is always using that side B to kill. Okay, and okay, and the the PK Thunder gets it. So, the Ness will be starting on one stock though, which isn't great for the uh, for Glow in this next match, or Geo, whatever you guys want to call him. 
it doesn't really matter. I've heard both, to be honest. So, mm. yes, a Wonder Wing, that's what it is called. It is so weird. Um, they, so the Smash Bros players do practice, I think Mondays and two, or Tuesdays and Wednesdays, something like that. Um, I think the Smash, the, the players do need to keep playing a little bit more safe. I think they might want to sadly, sadly go for more lame strats. I think it might help in the long run, and especially in saving those stocks, even if it is seen as lame and boring. It will help out, like it will be useful in the eventual end. So back to who we would add to Smash Bros. Shantae is a great pick. However, I think her moveset is kind of, kind of limited to just her hair. I think it would be a interesting like way of like making a character, a, more of like a sortie, but like still, I think more, like it's not really a sortie though because it's hair, you know, it's different, but it has the same range as a sortie, you know? I, I I think it's like kind of like just an unpredictable type of moveset. Like you can't really react to it and it's just like, it's out there. Like, what do you do, you know? Cause it's not really a sortie. Maybe, maybe it's like a, maybe it's more of a whip character. I think that would be a really interesting co uh, concept in the Smash Bros. And here we go in for the next battle of this crew uh, battle. Yeah. Uh, this Ness versus Cloud Glow or Geo on this on the Ness here. One, go. Going to SD twice, sadly. While the Cloud there, thankfully doesn't charge limit. If I was the Cloud, I would be charging limit, to be honest. But I guess that would be a little unfair. Starts off with charging limit right away though after they taunt. So it seems like these two are just kind of feeling each other out. Glow here really just needs to take like two stocks, ideally, but just really, just really needs to take one. Like in a perfect world, Glow would win this, easy, right? But in like, ideally though for strategy, it's probably more likely that he'll take one or two stocks, especially with the potency of Ness's back throw. I think he could really get at least one, maybe two out there. Um, Especially with like the amount of like work that PK Thunder is that putting in. Ooh, kind of a good punish there from Cloud there. Ba this is truly the baseball bat versus the Buster Sword. Uh, we will see which one is better at hitting the other one. Ball shaped head, you could say. Ooh, it, honestly, a kind of a yes. They, they really do. Um, oh, this is some good edge camping here from uh, from Glow here in the back air to finish it off. Glow here is kind of high percent though. We'll see how. It, yeah, let let him cook. Let Glow cook right here. He is cooking right now. He might be able to get two stocks. He is stuck on that platform though. Let, let's see what he can do. Ooh, the baseball bat right into the shield. If I were to like make that into a baseball pun, that would definitely be like hitting, oh, and then right into the up smash. Yeah. Some good plays there overall from Glow and the Cloud, I think, but just kind of a sad ending there at the end, just kind of getting up smash out of field. Honestly, a lame way to end it if I say so myself, playing a Fox made, like, we hit up smashers out of shield all the time, and we know it's lame to end it that way, all right? But, I'm just saying, a sword character doing it, that's even worse, right? Like, sword characters hitting that out of shield, upper up smash option is just so much, 
like way lamer than Fox or somebody with like a, you know, the bicycle kick up smash, Mario hitting that. It, it's just a sad way to end it, I think. Especially when you have that much of a lead. Just like, you have two stocks. Just do some th something cool. Hit him with a finishing touch, come on. Maybe I'm biased, maybe I want my team to win so he does some more uh, risky plays, just a little bit. Just, just about this much. I, I'm that much biased wanting him to do that, those risky plays. Choose your fighter. Right, it looks like we got Manny coming up next for this. Mar Mario is kind of an exception. I, his head just gets big, like he's just big brain. You know, he just gets a big brain and just hits him with your head. Like, if you ever tried that in real life, you, it would never work. Like, <laughs> it, it is not practical for real life at all. And you just, you just go, what, you go, like, that would never work, I think. <laughs> I, maybe Mario's just really good at soccer. Maybe that's how he does it so often. I dare you, Moist Socks, to send me a video of you knocking somebody out with your head like going up in that motion. I want to see it. I fully knock out. That person needs to be hospitalized afterwards. I need to see this video. We do have this match coming up though. So a after you guys watch this, you guys can send me that video and we'll see if it's Three, practical in real life. Two, one. All right, my boss just came in, turned the volume down a little bit, so. If anything is off now, blame him. He's right back there. Yep, it's that guy right there, blame him. <laughs> yes, so here we do have Roy versus, um, versus Cloud here. The first sword on sword fight here. Oh, and the, Tough recovery there for Roy. I do love Roy. Roy is probably one of my favorite characters to play. Just honestly, uh, there's a little bit of like, um, I just play him in casual. So I just run at people with my sword and side beat. That's all I really do with Roy and then use my forward end. <laughs> yes, th this is finally the only top tier sword characters that we have in this, uh, in this crew battle that we've got playing against each other. The first one. So, so Roy is definitely the coolest one, I think. I think um, if you go by like the the coolest sword characters, I think you gotta go with Roy as one, right? And then it's probably like hmm, I'd say Roy, and then maybe uh, the next one's difficult. It, it can't be like, I, okay, so Pyramithra, hear me out, right, is like obviously overpowered, but they do look pretty cool. And another up smack for this cloud, just honestly fishing for it at this point. Fishing to be lame, um, just kind of waiting for that, you know? Shulk? Okay, I will agree, Shulk is definitely number two. Shulk is super cool. Sadly though, Roy does lose this to the less cool sword character. He, yeah, Shulk is definitely number two. I really like how his Monados are like changing. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the, the, the Monados are really cool. I tried to main Shulk for like three days and then stop because of how difficult it was to do the Monados. Like that, that was insanely difficult. It was just not working well, <laughs> I'll be honest. 
I couldn't move my thumbs fast enough for a shulk to main. Choose your fighter. All right, looks like we got, uh, I believe this is going to be Luke up next. Yes, Charizard is a very fun character. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Charizard is a fun character. I do like how they brought back uh, Pokemon Trainer rather than keeping it just as Charizard. I think it's more of a uh, interesting like way to either balance Charizard or just honestly make it more fun. I have more fun playing like Char Ivysaur into Charizard, even though out of the three, Charizard is definitely my best. <laughs> Maybe it's because I just play casual and uh, Flare Blitz only. <laughs> that might be my strategy. Uh, if you ever see me play Charizard, be ready for a Flare Blitz, okay? Uh, <laughs> at least three Flare Blitzes, minimum, before I die or kill the other person. It's one of the two, one of the two will happen. <laughs> oh, Shulk in Smash 4? Oh, he was, I would say he was much easier to play in Smash 4 than he is easier to play now. Uh, Cause honestly in Smash 4, I did not use the Monados like, I maybe used it once in Smash 4. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought it would. That makes a lot more sense. That that definitely makes a lot more sense. Now I see what you're saying. I still stand on my point of playing Charizard though. So, <laughs> um, Shulk and Smash Four was definitely easier to play. I would say. Uh, maybe use the Monados like once or twice, and then just use use his big sword. Yeah, he was pretty bad though. The Monados were not great, um, and it's just like, big sword, that's all he really had. Like, uh, that's pretty much it, like, <laughs> it wasn't great for Shulk in the early days of Smash 4, or Smash 4 at all, for that matter. Oh, I heard somebody opening the door, so I thought somebody was there. Um, I, I did not know that that is what uh, Cloud's upbeat was called on. So I thought it was uh, broken out of shield option. That's what I thought it was. But here we got the match here. We got Bowser for Luke versus Cloud here. We're going to see how this goes. Hopefully Luke can get this. Yeah, Shulk was pretty slow, uh, if I remember correctly. Hopefully Bowser can get this one... Oh uh, wait, never mind. Okay, I thought it. I thought Cloud would definitely take another shot though, but I guess not. There comes the upbeat, um, again and again. Just massive amounts of upbeat. Yeah, come on, Luke, you got this. Luke here is, I believe, our only senior on the team. Uh, both Manny and Gabby are freshmen, and I have no clue about Glow or Geo. Is some people like to call him. Good down smash from Luke here. Bowser is, as big as he is, is the fourth uh, fastest character. However, that's been like well known for a while. Kind of a suspect um, down smash or down be there to get the, to get the, uh, honestly just to get punished. But. And now Luke dying and ooh walking right into that. Uh, limit breaking side B cross slash that's what it is um, and this is not going well for Doe this this cloud is kind of just yeah running circles around everyone this is not looking good like he has not been hit yet oh finally we got we got three percent that's all we need oh and they, there comes the cross slash um, Yeah, there goes another cross slash. Oh, and a back air. Not killing, though. We saw the red lightning. We thought it would. Forward throw here from Cloud. Oh, right into the whatever, the uh, blade beam. Nope, nope. That's definitely not what it's called. It's, it's something called. Uh, yeah, th this Cloud is pretty decent, I would say. Um, kind of just destroying our team here. Getting some pretty decent chip damage in Lucas, though. Hopefully he can actually fully 
uh, two stock this. I mean, as we just saw, Cloud's th uh, throw did just kind of set up uh, his neutral B limit, so. I, I wouldn't say they do nothing, but. Oh, okay, and jumping right into the up smash. That's what we need more of. Come on, Cloud. You gotta, you gotta jump into more up smashes like that. Come on, Luke. You got it. Can I get some Sko Domes in the chat? I wanna see if anyone knows what those <laughs> Alright, come on, we gotta hype up Luke here. Get some get some Luke hype, come on. Yep. And there goes another up smash. I'm just saying this cloud finishes every game or like every stock with an up smash. It's honestly pretty lame. Cloud just waits and waits until they run into his sword with an up smash. That's pretty much all that Cloud was doing. I believe that is it. That is all four of our players. So, yep, that will be that will be GG against uh, Concordia St. Paul. Oh, and it looks like the arena has closed before we could say goodbye. <laughs> honestly, honestly, bad sportsmanship from Concordia. I think they should be penalized at least a game, um, and we should and we should have to run it back. That's what I'm saying. I think he was going to, but they just closed it too soon. I would have said Dunktastic. I would have been spamming Dunktastic the whole time. That's the best chat line. All right, so my boss is telling me to end it here. So uh, goodbye, everybody. It's been fun. So we'll see you Thursday for the Smash Bros. Tournament. Bye. See you then.